welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is Gala today I'm going to be showing you how I created this summer sunset glowy look with the Beauty Bay palette I'm also going to be giving some tips on how to make your eyeshadow pop because I've been struggling with that and I always feel like my eyeshadow wasn't looking as pigmented as it should have been so I'm gonna be sharing some tips with you guys watch till the end if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe because it helps and do it now please okay so I'm gonna start with my bare face please don't mind the pink spots under my eyes it's a little dried there and I keep putting some eye cream, it's not helping. I don't know what's what's the situation basically. But we're gonna cover it up. So I'm gonna start off my face with a base to make sure I cover up my pores. And I'm gonna be taking this reddish, what's it called? Warm coral, put it under my eyes because it's gonna help me balance out the color. I don't know if these things help, but I feel like since I have a bit of purplish tone going on. I don't know if that's visible on camera. It's gonna help me even it out. For the face, I'm gonna be using Maybelline's Instant Anti-Age Concealer. This is a concealer, but it helps me cover up my face so good. Um, this is shade Zero Light. Of course, I'm running out of this and I cannot find my shade again. Another thing that's in my routine is that when I'm putting on makeup, I'd like to use coconut oil on my lips. It's a way to keep the lips healthy and get it smooth until you, you know, you finish up your entire face and you're about to do your lips. A tip that I really want to teach you guys is how to make colorful eyeshadows pop. If you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with color makeup, pink, blue, you know, yellow, all of that. So a trick that I've learned is to use concealer over on your eyelid. It's gonna help the color show even more. It's gonna show some pigment because I was struggling with that a couple of weeks ago and I kept asking myself, why isn't my eyeshadow like popping like everyone else? What am I doing wrong? First one is of course concealer. You can also use primer, but I don't have one. Now, now that I remembered, I'm gonna do my brows a bit too, and I'm gonna use this detail brush to even out my eyebrows. Are the eyebrows good and even? Yes, sir. When you're doing this technique, never put baking powder because your eyelids are gonna start creasing. Now, I'm gonna be taking my new palette, Colorful Obsessed with it, the Beauty Bay palette. I'm going to be using three shades basically. I don't know if I'll mix up later. So it's gonna be pink, orange, and yellow. I'm going to be taking two, two, and make them wink. I'm gonna be mixing those two together. This is tip number two for making your eyeshadow pop. It's actually, you can do this with any eyeshadow. Don't swipe the product because it's gonna lose pigment and it's not gonna appear that much. So just tap, 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 tap. As you get to the end line, you're gonna start, you know, swiping because that's gonna help you blend the color with the other shades that you're gonna be using. Now that I have the pink, I'm gonna move on to the oranges. I'm gonna be mixing up Tangerine Wave and Heat Wave. This is so pigmented, you guys. It's okay if it looks messy. It's supposed to look messy. Um, then I'm gonna be taking this really fruffy brush and just make sure the pink and the orange blend in. Next off, I'm going to be taking this really tiny packed brush and I'm going to pack on the yellow shade which is called Hello Sunshine. I've always wanted to do makeup on my channel but I was just like, oh there's so many like beauty bloggers who wants to watch me? 
and I kept like putting it off, putting it off and then I've had long conversations with my friends and they told me that you know everyone has their unique way of presenting something of doing makeup everyone has their personality on their channel of course you gotta put in something new to stand out but you know you're gonna figure it out along the way once i'm done i like going again over the colors and amplifying them make sure they're smooth by the way guys i got a new camera and i'm filming this video on it right now. Isn't it exciting? I don't know. I've, want, I've been wanting to get a camera for a long time. And whenever I told people I film on my iPhone, they were like, what? Yeah. Editing changes the game. That didn't turn out great, so we're gonna go in with the regular blush and try to fix I don't know what I was doing I'm sad that that didn't work out I was actually expecting to have something creative and editorial but I guess that wasn't it so now to uplift my eyes I'm gonna go in with a black liner I'm loving liquid highlighters more lately than the cream ones. And I'm also going to blend this in with my blush. What I love doing lately is just overlining the bottom and the top of my lips, but I don't like going inside. And if you're struggling with overlining the top of your lips, you just do a quick little V and you go down. I sometimes don't even use lipstick. And then I'm gonna go in with this cute little gloss. I feel like glosses are more summery. I don't wear glasses a lot around winter. On my lower lip, I'm gonna add a really dark shade just to make an ombre and a cute little effect. And we are done. I don't like doing the mascara on my bottom lashes. And this is the final look. If you guys like it, please leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this look make sure you also follow me on instagram again it's the same name it's me gala i'll put it on top so you can stay up to date see more makeup looks and i'll be posting a picture of this look as well thank you for taking time out of your day and watching this video it means a lot to me also turn on that bell because i'm gonna be posting a lot often soon i'm gonna be posting a lot of makeup looks i'll see you guys in my next video bye